recent months, Canada has witnessed an alarming trend involving the destruction of churches across the nation. Nearly a hundred churches, primarily those affiliated with the Catholic and Anglican faiths, have been either burned down or vandalized. This wave of violence has largely been fueled by public outrage over the historical treatment of the Catholic Church, which ran many of these institutions. However, as further investigations and excavations took place, many of the initiatives were found to lack substantial evidence. Of another communities, the targeting of religious institutions does not contribute to healing or reconciliation. Instead, it fosters division and deepens societal rifts. Reports indicate that many of the perpetrators of these acts of vandalism and arson are extremist indigenous peoples. However, the actions taken against these churches do not differentiate between those who were complicit in historical injustices and those who are simply part of a faith community. The response of the Liberal government during this crisis has been criticised as inadequate. Many believe that there should have been a stronger condemnation of the violence against churches and a more robust effort to protect these sites of worship. By failing to publicly denounce the attacks, the government may have inadvertently... The media's role in this narrative cannot be overlooked either. Sensationalized reporting on the discoveries at residential schools set a tone that often overshadowed the need for careful examination of the facts. The portrayal of the Catholic Church as a monolithic entity responsible for historical atrocities at the expense of other communities. The destruction of churches does not erase the past, rather, it complicates the future by creating an atmosphere of fear and resentment. In the wake of these events, Canadian historical grievances, media narratives and societal tensions. As the nation grapples with its past, it is imperative to approach... Amen.